My research focuses on processes of attention and how our brain deals with the enormous amount of information that's available to it. We live in a complex world. We are faced with many, many signals that our senses can pick up. And I think a lot of our brain is devoted to computing precisely what to focus on and how to make that selection. When you pay attention, you, there's this buzz that you get, uh, which is related to certain chemicals such as dopamine and norepinephrine that simply produces arousal. For me, it's been very valuable to learn more about uh, how this issue looks to neuroscientists and indeed what is being learned. Something that economics has been missing has been greater concern for understanding uh, how our attention is limited and what determines which aspects of the world we do notice. We cannot attend to everything with equal precision at all times. And so we have to make a selection. The types of selection that most interest us in my laboratory have to do with things that are related to our motivation and our goals. And the hope is that uh, some of the theories in economics will help with that. I've been um, working with Jackie Gottlieb on a project that is studying how people choose which pieces of information about the situation that they're in they're, um, they're interested in acquiring. What is a piece of information worth to you? How do you decide, will you pay attention, will you invest effort to process that information? The goal of this study is to try to integrate economics with the natural sciences. Building experiments that would speak to both disciplines um, and, be, and be useful to both disciplines. So for example, we might give you a trivia question, such as how tall is the Eiffel Tower? And we may allow you to ask for the answer or not ask for the answer. You can decide, am I really curious and am I willing to maybe pay a token to hear the answer or am I not that curious, let's go on to the next question. One can also measure very carefully things like the response time, how long it takes someone to respond on different occasions to different questions. One can look at things like uh, how their eyes move, and then one can look at uh, levels of activity in different regions of the brain while particular types of decisions are being made. The hope is that we'll eventually have a richer uh, theory of how changes in the situation um, change what people are likely to do. People and also animals don't always pay attention to the information that might teach them the most. People tend to be aware, much more aware, of a few things. They're biased toward sources of information that tell them what they want to hear. This limitation of awareness has important consequences for not just individual choices, but how the markets function. Because attention regulates the stream of our experience, the stream of our thoughts. It's probably a main, uh, one of the key components in all high-level mental disorders. The brain, in some shape or form, um, determines pretty much every aspect of human behavior. What we do, what we learn, uh, what we inquire, how we organize our societies, how we behave in private, all of those are in some way traceable back to the brain.